Did I really escape Lava Prana with 6 HP and 29 FP? What happened with Lava Prana? Anyway, yeah, it's uh, like 7.42 a.m. I've got breakfast in front of me, and uh, if this has to be a long, a long stream, then by George it will be. Uh, I'm very glad I wrote down my scripts for the uh, the first uh, five bosses because I do not remember anything about them. Because it's been like a month. Literally, it, it, it's been like an entire month. It's minus like three days since I last did this. Yikes. Did not realize it was that long. Right, Lava Prana is a very specific set of things. General Guy's got a script. Tabba Blubba also has a script, but I can probably get him into like some kind of. Man, I don't know. Anyway, Huff and Puff. and then Jelly Ultra. That's what my script says. And then after that, we, uh, we figure it out. Smash, blow, smash. I've, I've got, <clears throat> I've got his, uh, the order he attacks figured, like, listed down. down who I'm full healing before. I think I full healed... Yeah, full healed after Koopa Bros. And then I don't need to full heal again until... Yeah, so full heal between Koopa Bros and Totten Koopa. And then I'm able to go without needing a full heal until... After Huff and Puff, I think. Yeah. So... Why did I indent that? Okay, uh, Huff and Puff. I guess we just recoil. <clears throat> I f what was my strat before? I forget completely. Like they they do a lot of damage, and uh, what was the strat? I don't remember. God, I, I don't remember in the slightest. Can I get away with fan smack? I don't remember if his blow attack hits my partner or not. This is gonna do a lot of damage to me. Got to mash like the Dickens. Only ten, that's actually not that bad. The question is if if this attacks my partner, gotta do the opposite order. It does not, it just lowers my attack power. <laughs> the thing is the two of them can't do any. Alright, oh, my my strat was 
do as much damage like this. And then just do, do, do enough damage so that it just fill up his caps. That was what my strat was. Actually, I sh a normal smack should do should be better than fan smack because it's one x six, and I should fill up his cap with small ones and save FP and fill it up faster. Uh, yeah, Cloud9, I mean Cloud9 is a must in this fight. Jolly Ultra. I should have blocked that, but... Oh well. Um... Yeah, an ordinary smack fills up six slots. <laughs> so that's just better. So how much damage has he taken? One, so six plus two, four, six, eight. Yeah. So that should be, but the recoil did more than eight, so. Yeah, the recoil should have taken, should have done, well, you can just use it and find out. So, in that case, yeah, um, recoil plus, or no, smack plus recoil. And this will just, I want to do a lot of damage early on so that his smash attack does less. And then fan smack plus recoil. That looks like it might be a good start eat my breakfast. That's 10 permanent damage plus recoil throws permanent damage. So yeah, 50. So yeah, I. I he, it's a lot of extra damage. Of course. No, I, I do survive this. So yeah, I've, I've dealt a ton of extra damage already. And that will greatly reduce the amount of damage his smack does. Or smash. Now it's gonna use ground lightning, so... I forget how much damage ground lightning does, but it's a lot. I could have plus two HP if I had blocked.
forget how much damage this does. Shield trim probably isn't terrible. Maybe. I just want to know how much damage the ground lightning does. Oh, that's survivable. Okay. With rejuvenate. Okay, so rejuvenate. I'm gonna redo this fight to get my extra 2 HP back, because that will probably matter. Mary's HP and brackets off for optimal. Forty-four after his turn. <laughs> Should be what ten after that turn. <coughs> So how much would my truth stomp do? Hold up. Will my truth stomp kill? Unfortunately, just barely no. Nothing I can do about that. So maybe you just fan smack. And then... Do nothing and then fans, and that will reduce the amount of damage I take considerably, also. Because I, want, I want to save as many items as I can. How many items have I used? I don't remember. Right, yeah, we turned Goomba King into a jumpless rejuvenate spam. Right, so we, no items on Goomba King. Probably two items on Cooper Bros. Although we can probably do more rejuvenate spam. Tot and Koopa mandatory uh, two items. Top of Blubba, like three items. Or no, I think I got it down to two. Oh no, three. Although again, I can probably rework the top of Blubba fight. <clears throat> I 
I just need to get into General Guy with enough HP and FP. Well, if I full heal before General Guy with a Jelly Hill Trap, but I don't, I don't, I don't remember how much damage Tubba Blubba does. <laughs> so we should be fine to use a few items on Puff. So let's think. What can Mario do that would be productive? Mario can't kill one of the uh, tiny things. Probably with a normal jump. How much does his normal jump do? 5 plus 5? 3 plus 3. Okay, so I've got no boosted attack. Unfortunate, but... In that case, because like, if I do normal jump, yeah, that'll fill up the slots, but... Um, at that point, I might as well just recoil throw for the extra damage. The point of not filling up the slots would be to take less damage here, but... The point is, we want to, uh... Reduce his, uh, da the damage of his most common attack as much as possible. the minus attack made me think actually funny. Done optimally at the end of this turn, I'm at 10 HP. So then we have to rejuvenate. Rejuvenate in a normal jump? Oh, but that... Oh, that... Right, because my attack got massively lowered. Well, it's fine. Just two of them really can't do much, so... They might not- two of them might not even be able to damage me. Okay, they can. And then Cloud Nine is mandatory, so. So that means that Mario jumping there is actually pointless. Because. You know, Cloud Nine is too mandatory.
can't take. The only attack we can take without Cloud9 is his blow attack. Maybe instead of rejuvenate, I... Because this is the part where I want to do a ton of damage. Because if his smash gets low enough, then we're good. So I want to do a ton of damage here. So I want to smack instead of rejuvenate. No, no, it's after this turn that I want to smack. Here he's gonna, he's gonna inhale. like shield trim then here because something like a shield trim might actually be really useful here or frozen fries If we go back to this turn, uh, this is, I should have made a save state. Whatever. this turn. Let's say that I smacked and then like frozen fries. Thing is I probably want to save those for later. So I probably do want to rejuvenate here. Shieldrum lasts for three turns. It's like plus two defense for three turns. Ordinary jump is pointless because at that point I'm not maxing it out, so it's pointless to use a jump on this turn. Because the damage isn't gonna stick in the slightest. Unless I like recoil XT, but then I'm like just getting destroyed by his minions. There'll be seven of them. Hustle is also an option at some point. Hustle drink? Nah, that takes up too much inventory space. Doing nothing might be optimal here. 
or like focus. But what I ever want to use refresh. I guess focus so that I can get up to a smooch. But then, if I can use smooch, then my, then I'm below, uh, I'm above a fourth, which means that my, uh, it's not gonna work. For whatever turn beforehand, I'm gonna be taking a lot more damage. Because my dark power's not gonna be a thing. I think Starbeam negates invisibility, right? Should. Okay, if we shield trimmed here. Let's think. We shield trim the next turn, we cloud nine. We're gonna take 10 or 12 or 11, so a, a, a little bit less damage. And he'll uh, do the smash next turn, which means it's also pointless to attack. So we're just kind of stalling at that point. Focus into refresh isn't terrible, I guess. <laughs> Get my since if I focus here, right? This should get my, uh, allow me to use refresh next turn, I imagine. Yeah. Like, cloud, like, rejuvenate, focus, cloud nine, refresh. gonna blow this turn, it's gonna smash, but it's gonna blow the next turn. I should probably use a full heal here. Maybe the frozen fries. I see no I see no answer other than using either shield trim or maybe maybe shroom cake. Normal shroom ultra shroom cake isn't a terrible idea. Frozen fries, though, is going to be better in the long run. <clears throat> so, yeah, we frozen fries. He smashes. Then we smack. Recoil. Let's try frozen. Let's try this. <laughs> that was four without a block. Yeah, that was. I think the answer is frozen fries, actually.
Smack Recoil. Two HP in this timeline. Okay, then he's going to use uh, Sky Lightning, <coughs> which is his strongest attack. We do want to get as much as damage in as we can. I might need to rejuvenate though, I don't know. Recoil rejuvenate? Yeah, because I'm, otherwise I'm gonna take the damage from the pops, so. Wait, hold up. It's better to air raid X2. I think. Air raid? And because that way I can kill all of these guys too. Right. Yeah, that's right. So we definitely want to air raid. <clears throat> air raid refresh, maybe. Raid refresh. I'm definitely gonna air raid. I might have to use an item here though. Don't want to. I survive this attack. I should. Yikes. <clears throat> if I perfectly block everything until now, then yes, I do survive. That is sketchy, but then we would definitely want to air raid again. And, uh, use some kind of full heal. Using so many items though in this fight. But yeah, good to know unblocked sky lightning does eighteen.
Okay, um... That's done a third of his health. The problem is I'm using too many items, I feel. Okay, this beeping is annoying. Um... Is there a better timeline? Where I don't focus and you refresh. <clears throat> or like get a smooch off instead of a refresh. If I don't refresh, I have to heal that turn anyway. <laughs> Maybe instead of frozen fries, I can get away with a biscuit? Biscuit and instead of refresh? Because I'm going to need two items here, so Biscuit and then using an Ultra Shroom Cake would be much better in the long run. It would be much better. So let's let's rewind time. This is after I used focus. I don't like the idea of using focus. So maybe instead of focus be Yoshi Biscuit. And that also gives me some leeway in case I block stuff. Because I, I don't want to have to bl perfectly block and survive alone. That's just too sketchy. So after this, I should be at 25. So Cloud9 mandatory, obviously. Not like that. Actually, I should probably do nothing on that turn and then use the Yoshi Biscuit the turn after. Maybe. Actually, no, because otherwise I can do a ton of damage if I don't have to. See, I should Yoshi Biscuit and then use Ultra Cake on this turn. And that way I can do a ton of damage. I can, I can recoil, smash. Here. I can just like air raid, I can just recoil and then air raid, do all that stuff. I don't know why I started writing partner attacks first. Partner does not need to be first here. does need to attack first here. <clears throat> this partner I have out doesn't matter here.
instead of focus, we definitely want to use Yoshi Biscuit. <coughs> it's not that hard to block that. But assuming I don't... 23... No... No... No light. I guess we'll just call it no lightning block. Or no L block. Or just no block. Because <clears throat> I should factor in a mistake. It's the only reasonable thing to do. Here it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be using it. So yeah. Then we use Ultra Shroom Cake. And we Cloud Nine. <laughs> okay, now we can just start going ham. Smack is important first here, though. I should meant write that down. Smack first is important here. Oh yeah, also I need to be like eating. God, it's been 42 minutes and I've barely gotten anywhere. That's strategizing for you. It takes a while, at least with me. Why do I have cloud line right there? That should be really well. Okay. Recoil. This is too hard to block, so I won't even try. That brings me down to 17. And then we do the same thing. and then we have to cloud nine okay probably like refresh cloud nine
going to do ground lightning and then he's going to do the smash. I mean, refresh makes sense here. Yeah, refresh Cloud9. Then we can just, like, do nothing and rejuvenate. Well, actually, hold up. Like, well, actually, moment. I still have the cake. This is the last turn of cake. Because now the smash is weak enough so that it's not too scary. I wonder. How much will the ground lightning do? Without, uh, like, as I currently am. Twenty. That hurts, but Wait, do I still have one more cake turn? I, I have two cake turns. Okay. So yeah, I can get away with not using Cloud Nine then, because the cake. So in that case. So yeah, in that case. Let's just go for damage. Smack. Recoil. Why did it do eight? Oh, right, because I don't hit the right, that's why I did eight. It's no cloud. That hurts, but it's fine. Eight. Eight. And then. I'll be fine? Might be fine. We're gonna recoil, obviously. Recoil and then fan smack. I don't actually know if I'll survive this despite the cake regen. Because like they're gonna do eight they're gonna do sixteen. And then he's gonna do I don't know how much he's gonna do. I also might get him low enough that he does his crazy attack. And that would be bad. But I'll try it. I might get him too low. Yeah. Okay, so that that's that's death. I think it's when he's below 60. I said we block those. Stupid save state. <coughs> this brings him to 61 perfectly. So now he shouldn't use his attack. 
And this should only do six plus six. And this is definitely survivable now. script is reset. Or that, that was technically reset. And I was gonna use blow. want to like refresh rejuvenate and refresh because now, now we're at the tricky part where it's like I want to whittle his damage down really slowly I don't want to do a lot of damage at once Because when he drops below 60, I want him to have nothing, like pretty much nothing out. Unfortunately, um, I can't actually, like, Mario cannot kill one with true stomp, and like, he can't Oko one with true stomp, which is not good. Rejuvenate and then focus. If we if we set up a hustle spell, that'll also help a lot. Hustle spell would help a lot. We've used, but we, we definitely want to rejuvenate. We've used three items on this fight. Now we want to start rejuvenating back up. Rejuvenate. I, I agree with just rejuvenate refresh. Oh, he's gonna blow this turn, so. It makes sense to use refresh the next turn. So maybe focus? So I can get like a smooch or Or maybe just a normal jump. How much damage will this even do? That's what I thought. What if I just do an untimed truth stop? That made three small guys appear. Untimed recoil time, recoil throw. Again, that makes four little ones appear. Let's make four little ones appear. Strange. I mean, that's less healing he'll get, but. Wait, he'll only restore 4 HP back. <clears throat> that is bizarre. Maybe it's a bug with recoil throw, I don't know. But uh, rejuvenate and then recoil untimed makes sense here. What is wrong with my throat today? My goodness.
it's possible that I don't want to refresh then. So what if I did another untimed recoil? <clears throat> oh no, that that brings him down. That brings him down. We can't do that. That that that, that that's death. See, we should do uh, re refresh plus rejuvenate here. Fresh plus rejuvenate. And he should only restore it, so I, I dealt net 5 damage to him. Alright. He only restores 4 here. Yeah. Interesting. gonna do smash again which at this point is pretty weak so recoil untimed rejuvenate hopefully it wasn't just a quirk with my lowered attack it was not Untimed recoils to deal five damage to him at a time. Oh, that still dropped him. I can't block this. Okay. Oh, because I, I, I dropped him below. I dropped him below 60. Oof. This is the refresh. I did extra damage, right? Okay. But still, I survived that handedly. Or do I? Because now he's going to do the lightning. Yeah, hold up. Now he's gonna do the lightning. Yeah, hold up. He does sky lightning right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm dead in this timeline. Unless he used another item, which I want to avoid. I just can't take this many big attacks in a row. Hmm.
Let's rewind the time a little. Where am I in this timeline? This is... After I rejuvenated at 9 HP. Before I did the first untimed one of those. Wait, he's still low enough? Okay, well that's also a bad timeline. Alright, hmm. Maybe I don't refresh, maybe I focus here. So we can get a smooch. What does, uh, what does this cause? That causes more small ones. Why do the big ones not show up? It's because I'm not doing enough damage or is it because I'm not timing it properly? Might be the former. Oh no, I just did so little damage, I think. I wonder, if I use a recoil untimed... Since how low is he getting? to a previous timeline. Okay, where are we? I'm at 21 HP. This is... This is... No, this is... Uh, one more. Previous. Okay, on this timeline, I do smack this recoil. A full recoil. You know, this is... Where are we on the time? Okay, this is recoil plus cloud nine. So what if I do recoil on time plus cloud nine? Yeah, I think this should be recoil untimed.
what attacking you doing? Just smash. That should have been blocked. That was supposed to be blocked. I can't accept that not being blocked. Okay, now we're here. Now, we can recoil untimed again. And cloud n and uh, rejuvenate. <clears throat> Perfect. This should work. And now my uh, recoil untimed here, or whatever, is not going to kill him. Not, it's not, yeah, it doesn't drop him below 60. And now we refresh. Do we need to refresh here, or would it be better to save up for a, um... Might be better to save up. It might, it might just work out such that we can. So let's try recoil on time rejuvenate. Now I'm doing a bit less damage. Let's try this timeline. I still have the uh, defense bonus on this turn. This is ground lightning. This is gonna hurt. Eight, assuming no block. What does he do next? He does smash next. Right, he just did, um, ground lightning, smash, so yeah, he will inhale. So I don't like doing that recoil on time. I don't like this timeline. Uh, instead, I like the idea of... Well, how many turns do I have until I get my... Uh, until I can smooch? Because that's going to be important. I need one more... maybe two. Refresh here might be the play. So right now my jump does nothing, right? Okay. My attack is too low to damage him with my jump. How much does my recoil throw currently do at full? 12. It's still enough to Oko them. 
to Oko one of the, um... But Buzz just needs to, like, rejuvenate every turn. We're being super cautious here because, I mean, obviously we have to rejuvenate here is mandatory. I would love to get off a smooch here. Focus? This is risky and dumb, but... And now I'm gonna be taking uh, extra damage from this, like... Six extra. But this lets me smooch Cloud9. less damage too because I, I, if I didn't block because like wh where was I supposed to I think it was this one where I actually blocked one of his lightnings so smooch rejuvenate or no smooch cloud nine to accept that I missed the block. Brings me to 25. Okay, that was smash. Now he's gonna do blow and then sky lane. So I should just rejuvenate and recoil untimed here, I think. God, this is a long script, but Huff and Puff sucks. It's because I'm trying to avoid using as many items as I can. Should be 29 then. You got too much HP. Blocking too good. And I was gonna do Sky Lightning. Is it just always rejuvenating makes sense.
if I truth stomp here, it'll delay sky lightning, though. Things I don't want that to be delayed too much, though. I don't want to have, have Sky Lightning and then do Sky Lightning again. That's also the problem. That's just too weak. I really didn't save after this Rejuvenate. Whatever. I, I, I didn't take enough damage anyway, so... I got too good with my mashing. It is possible, really, but I shouldn't count on it. <laughs> How much does your shape last to do? Your sh the shape last is up to six now. I don't want to do. I wanted- I only want to do, like... That's the thing, Mario has no way of hitting multiple enemies. Honestly, a fire flower would be useful in this situation. Kind of, maybe. Like, air raid fire flower. <laughs> now the air raid itself would do way too much. <laughs> who does like who who will do only like two damage? Anyone who can do a slow enough amount of damage. Or maybe the answer is I don't recoil untimed on the previous turn. Now, recoil untimed is too important. It does a lot. The thing is, even with this few lackeys out, he's still gonna do a lot of damage. And the goal is, I want to reduce the amount of damage it takes. He does. <laughs> Considerably. Mary can only nix one of the, uh, one of... How much does Paracarry Skydive do? Untimed. Three, and that brings out three new ones. We don't want that. Timed truth stomp. Or an untimed an untimed truth stomp does one. A timed truth stomp should do like three. Or does four. But it only brings up two. It's not terrible. And then we can fan smack one of the tiny ones. This is a weird timeline, but... I'm, I don't think there's a way I can avoid having, using another item here. I'm just too low on everything. 
And because he, he he's gonna do Sky Lightning this turn. items on Huff and Puff though is really really not great. It's really really not great, but Huff and Puff is such a pain that way. Cause he, he does Sky Lightning on this turn. Which does 18 damage. Rejuvenate will only bring me to 17 HP anyway. So no matter how I slice it, I have to heal. What did I do that turn? True Stomp Rejuvenate, that's what I did? Would using Hustle Spell here be better? <laughs> no, I think Rejuvenate here is probably better. I'll take a little bit of extra damage, but... I think the extra healing is more damage than the extra damage I'll take. These still only do three. And this should only do like plus two, I think. Only plus one. So yeah, that's, that's, okay, so yeah. Stomp. Rejuven Truth Stomp, Rejuvenate. And then... Now that he's done that once, he shouldn't do it again, I hope. Obviously, we have to Rejuvenate again. six. If he's, he's gonna go to stomp after, or smash after that, which is not that scary. So I think I can focus here, and be fine. So I think I can focus rejuvenate. Focus, rejuvenate. See, so after truth stomp and rejuvenate, how much was I at? Was that 16? I accidentally deleted my previous line here. <laughs> okay, it's Truth Stomp, Rejuvenate, 16, then Focus, Refresh, and I might survive that. Let's find out! Focus Rejuvenate, and then Refresh next turn. Because the thing is, now, smash just, his Smash does so little damage now, that it's survivable. That I can, it, it doesn't, it's not concerning. Because he's so low HP. survive this. Pain. But that's fine. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so that was Sky Lightning. Now he's gonna smash. So 
So, I'll take six plus six this one. I'll, I'll take... So focus, just focus alone is death. I need to rejuvenate here. Rejuvenate plus focus might be good enough. I meant refresh. Let's see how much damage I'm taking. Oh yeah, I should survive. Oh, he doesn't, he's not, he doesn't, oh, he inhales, right, yeah, he inhales first. So yeah, <laughs> focus rejuvenate, and then refresh rejuvenate, and then we're going to cloud, then we're going to, no that doesn't work either. Actually hold up, how much did focus, did fo does focus here? Let me... No, I'm, I'm one turn shy. I... No, I won't be able to, uh... <coughs> I won't be able to use, uh, Smooch next turn. Dang. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm one turn short of Smooch. Again, the amount, but the thing is, now I'm also in a position where, so we, we can't focus. We can't. We can't focus there. Focusing there is death. <laughs> okay. So let's try recoiling a big one. Recoil a big one, just to, you know, recoil, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Recoil, big tough, rejuvenate. That should give me that, like, six or something. Then we rejuvenate again. Or something. It was so much easier with... Because that seemed like way easier with five. So it might just be I take four damage x1 instead of three x2. That might be it, because it was like super easy. No, it wasn't. I just had ridiculous mashing luck. Well, luck. Not really luck, but... Uh, we rejuvenate again, and... Thing is, focusing for FP might actually be better. Or refreshing, like, to get my FP back. So yeah, I like the idea of refresh, rejuvenate. Rejuvenate. And then that'll loop his AI again. I'm also gonna take like a shit ton of damage because I'm not. Right. Right. See, so, yeah, no, I'm I'm just bleeding FP. I there's no way I'm gonna do this without using another item. That's my conclusion. I'm gonna have to use another Jelly Ultra. I just I'm bleeding too much FP. I'm just not getting it. since my the rejuvenate just converts 
damage back, like, but then there's still raw HP loss. So like, so yeah, I, I, I need to use another item. No matter how we slice it, I have to use another item. Which sucks, but... I should be able to do this with only one more full heal. So now it's just a matter of optimizing it. Because <laughs> now that I know I absolutely have to use another full, like another healing item, I can optimize it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use another full, full healing item. I blocked it too, because I'm at three. The problem is I was just taking so much damage because Cloud Nine. God, we've been strategizing this fight for an hour and a half, really? This is stupid. Again, I'm gonna count how many items I've used. Zero, probably two, three, four, seven. Uh, seven, nine, or eight, nine. me seven items that's the thing that leaves me seven items for the last two bosses because and the I'm gonna use two um, no this is too many items this is too many items I need so many items for Bowser I can probably get through Crystal King with only two items one of them being the dark cake The thing is, Crystal King is gonna be really rough because I'm not gonna have. So, about. I need to get through Crystal. I need to get through Huff and Puff using less items. Somehow. I mean, I can probably save an item on, um, Cabo Blaba. I can almost certainly save an item or two on Tubba Blubba. I want to I wanna redo the Tubba Blubba part. Cause it, <sighs> Huff and Puff sucks so much. If I could kill one of his things with Truth Stop. We'd be fine, but we can't. That's before we get minus attack, right? I think so. This does still nine, right? Eight. Okay, hold on. Not fresh recently. I think. Oh no, it's because he wasn't invisible. Confirm that, like, okay, yeah. Okay, this is the timeline before he does the big smash, in which I recalled the big tough.
Because, like, I made this play with the biscuit and the other stuff, but the thing is... Using that biscuit and then the ultra shrimp cake was technically really wasteful. Because... I healed a lot of H- like, especially FP that I couldn't use. That's why it was wasteful. We have to Jelly Ultra turn one. That's mandatory. Do I just restart the fight? I might just restart the fight. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm focusing too much on trying to optimize everything perfectly also. That's also a big flaw of mine. Okay, that's the wrong timeline. Cause like <laughs> I really want before he gets is it the second or the third sky I think that's the th third sky lightning. Yeah, that's the third sky lightning. I want, I want him to do the big attack before the third Sky Lightning. Because if I time it correctly, like... Time it where I do now, that means that he doesn't skip any weak attacks. He just goes straight to the, the, his Sky Lightning attack. Which is good, because I don't want him to, like... I don't want to skip him to that part of his his AI cycle early. Because then it'll be too hard. But I'm just thinking from a mathematical standpoint. Thing is, what if? Because yeah, is there a way to is there a way to trigger this without and take less damage? From, then again, oh, it's so hard to know. Oh no, this is a this is immediately after he did he did his his big fiesta. This is the turn after he did that. So this is the sky lightning turn. Whatever. I don't see a way to get through this without using another item, which is annoying because I would have liked to optimize this fight a little bit better, but it does not seem to be possible. Here on the timeline. Well, let's just confirm that he won't use it again. Let's just confirm that he doesn't use his attack again if he dips below 60. He shouldn't, but, like... You never know sometimes. It does a ludicrous amount of damage. I could out of sight. I should consider out of sight here. Focus out of sight. Yeah, focus out of sight, and then I can smooch next turn. Oh wait, no, this hits through electric, doesn't it? Yeah, that hits through. Also, that was ground lightning, what? Isn't it supposed to be sky lightning? script are we on? <laughs> A 
and dropping my mouse. Nice. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I've decided I'm gonna restart. I don't like the script. I think I can do this with just three items. Using the biscuit and the ultra cake is dumb. Now that I know I can- Because the thing is, I kept- At the end, I just got into this loop of like, Oh, I use rejuvenate every single turn. Instead of cloud nine. It just- It, it started getting ugly. My partner wasn't doing anything. It just- It just became a stall war that I was losing. So- the first part was good, but when I started using the biscuit and the ultra shroom cake, like, I think I can optimize that, and then just give in and use another full heal item later on, like, or maybe sooner rather than later, and just leave it at three. So that's my new plan. I'll just follow the script so it shouldn't take that long. I want to test this before I get lowered attack. Yeah, untimed recoil throw is really, 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 really good. That's just six free damage. Like, I'm doing 11 damage, but he's only going to be healed back four, actually. So that's seven free damage. That's really, really good. And it also seems like this is what happens no matter how much um, I get blown. Like, how much my attack gets dropped because of his, like, blow attack. So, that's really, really good. There, there are optimizations we can do. So 
much, how many big ones appear if I do a strong recoil? They're all, okay, three bigs and a small. And I do four extra damage. I do four extra damage, but he's going to heal back three extra. So it is better to do a full-time recoil throw than a half-time recoil throw. Because this does also fill up the thing with only smalls. However, let's see how. It is better to do a full-time recoil here. I'm wondering if I should like anyway um anyway uh that puts me at 27 I'm just gonna like paste it here just make a new message okay so that brings me down to 27 so now we recoil fan smack you're gonna take a lot of a lot of extra other that's the thing we take so much damage here because his smack does a lot and we're taking a lot from this that's the problem now here we're taking a lot of damage early on but we end up doing a lot of damage we get so much damage on him when we can get the two air raids off I wonder if we should just stall until then Stall until we can get the two air raids off and just deal insane amounts of damage once. <laughs> That's not, might not be a bad idea. I might want to consider that, because like... With all the extra the damage reduction, the smash isn't doing that much, but I'm taking so much extra damage. So maybe my in initial strategy was just wrong from the get go. Maybe that's the problem. I'm just gonna scrap everything. I think my initial strategy was just wrong. Because recoil untimed gets some nice damage in. <laughs> See, let's just like... Yeah, so let's just recoil, recoil you. I'll just do you for untimed. And then power beam? Probably not, though, because we want to preserve our FP. That's the thing. We want to preserve as much FP as we can. And it's difficult to do that. Hustle spell? I need to, I can't use more than three items in this fight. Like, Using four items is just unforgivable. This is the worst stream, but whatever. It's not like anyone needs to watch it. It's not like it matters if I have a good stream or a bad stream. I'd be doing this anyway, so... Power Beam will do, like, what? Seven? Six. But it's a lot of FP. Whereas if I just do nothing... With my partner. I think we just do nothing. We just recoil you, do nothing. And that doesn't even amount of damage.
right, he's also blowing away my FP. So I think recoil you, and then nothing. And that brings me down to 36. And then we do another recoil you. And rejuvenate. In theory, Rejuvenate is free. <clears throat> Gonna take a fair amount of damage here, but... Still a lot less than the previous strategy. And he, he'll, he should have taken like 11 damage. Brings it down to 34. Okay, so now... Okay, I'm gonna, like, maximize this so I can actually see things easier. See, so yeah, now he's gonna use, uh, Ground Lightning Smash. So again, just recoil you. Coil you rejuvenate. Just whittle him down until we are ready for the big attack. And we're not gonna block this. Cloud9 goes off there, so, recoil you, what did we do, we recoiled you, we rejuvenated, rejuvenate, and that dropped me down to 28, and then, we have to Cloud9 here. That's mandatory, but he's taking a decent amount. Now he's gonna do the smash. So I guess recoil you smash. Maybe not, I don't know. We're gonna, we're getting close to the part where we want to do a ton of damage. So that's the thing, that's the problem. So after this smash, we're gonna want to be at near full HP. So it might be uh, nothing. Cloud nine might be optimal here. Maybe focus. Probably focus. Probably focus. Cloud nine. We're gonna probably have to use one item in the midst of this, uh, fray of attacks, but it's fine. That brings us down to 18. Probably just an Ultra Shroom Cake here is fine, so like, smack. And just normal Ultra Shroom Cake. Because otherwise I- Because I do think I need the Ultra Shroom Cake to do this big burst of damage. In one piece. 
no, because I need to... On this turn, I need to fill out his cap. So we can get two full air raids in. I have to fill out his cap on this turn. Which is annoying. Very annoying. Um, he's just gonna... I should survive. <laughs> We're gonna kill everything, so recoil full should be good. I'll take 6-6 six, six, and then... So yeah, recoil full will be fine here. I think. But then he does the sky lightning. I need to have enough HP to survive the sky lightning. So instead of the cake next turn, we probably need to full heal. But yeah, we're fine to recoil full here. HP, because otherwise we're gonna get annihilated by the um, Sky Lightning plus the thing. So we need full HP. Jelly Ultra Air Raid. Right? Like, Frozen Fries probably won't be enough. It's probably, it's probably better just to use a Jelly Ultra. <laughs> Almost certainly so. So yeah, Jelly Ultra. air raid. Actually, I need to conserve my FP, so it's more optimal to air raid than jelly ultra. Air raid, jelly ultra. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna get all my uh, FP back from the attack, so it actually doesn't matter. me down to 20. 20 you. I'll put you beside. I think it was the, that one. Yeah. To show it was unblocked. Okay, now. Recoil. Full. And air raid. And we do a ton of damage. That sticks. Well, actually, no, instead of smacking, it's better to fan smack. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, hold up. No, this is, this is, what we did was inop, unoptimal. This is turn 36. We, we, we were unoptimal, because that should be fan smack. Because we're killing them all, so we don't we don't need to fill it up with small things. We just need to fill it up with big ones. Which means we also don't need to do that. We can do the recoil first. That's, uh, that's more damage that we do. It's just 4 
four extra damage. Although really, four extra damage for like six FP, is that really worth it? It's a lot of extra damage for a little bit of FP to get back. 28U. So now, okay, this is the turn where we focus Cloud9. But yeah, we get all the F yeah. So yeah, we get we get because we get all the FP back because of the sky lightning. We overcap our FP. So yeah, this is optimal. Okay. This on this turn we recoil fan smack. Very important to get that block actually. I don't know how much damage I would... I might take one damage with it. I don't know. The point is I need to get some blocks. But if I get the... But this is with the unblocked. So if I block the ground lightning, we should be fine. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. We don't fill his cap. We don't fill his cap like this. So that's two more damage he'll heal. But get a little bit of extra HP back. It's not filling his cap is interesting. In theory, this should still result in him taking two extra damage. And that two extra damage that I missed will still happen. So yeah, this this is fine. This is fine. So that means there should be 22 you. Which means you can switch to Paracarry. We're just gonna we're just gonna Jelly Ultra here, so it's fine. Jelly Ultra Air Raid. Because right, we store everything from Jelly Ultra. I see. Yeah. I do waste a lot of FP there, though. That's the thing. I waste a lot of FP. Regen here. Because I'm, I'm, my FP is full. But I'm literally using as much FP as I can, so. These are my strongest attacks! Okay, so. Uh, on this timeline, and there's that idiot there who's at full. But now we, yeah, we recoil. And we air raid. So now he's gonna do ground lightning. See, so yeah, he recoiled. Ground lightning does 14. Recoil, and then. Uh, air raid. And we've dealt a third of his, his health. The thing 
is now. I'm about to take a ton of damage. I should count on me blocking one of the lightnings. Because it's pretty likely that I can block one of the lightnings. And that means I'll survive with two. Let's see, recoil, air raid, and then... Uh, what did, that brings me down to 14. Well, let's let's see what happens here. Okay. If if I don't, do I have to? Am I in danger of taking damage if I don't block this? No. But I mean, I can't do that because I'll just die. I'll certainly die like that. Because now I'm in a position where I've got a lot of FP, but not a lot of HP. So I want to convert FP into HP, which is rejuvenate, but... I mean, I get all my... So, so it doesn't matter. I should just be fine to rejuvenate here. I just- I want to avoid hitting the cap on my FP. That's the problem. That's what I want to avoid, hitting the cap on my FP. Because that's not good. So instead of doing nothing on that turn, what if I water blocked? So yeah, I've got a turn where my partner does nothing. What if I water block? There should be no reason why I do nothing. Like, there's other things my partner can do. My partner can water block, I can turbocharge, so let's rewind time actually. Cause yeah, that turn where I do nothing is stupid. Why am I at thirty six and so thirty? My numbers my numbers are all wrong. <laughs> let's let's redo this. Okay. Yeah, that should be 44. That's why my numbers are all wrong. So 44. So this is turn two. We recoil you. And then we, this is the turn where I did nothing. So I should just like water block or something. Probably water block. I mean, I can see if water block makes any difference at all. I'm just wasting FP if I don't do anything on this turn. I still take 2 and 2 plus 2. <laughs> I don't think the water block does anything. No, the water block doesn't do anything. So then we'll turbocharge. Reason to not turbocharge. So now we recoil you. Oh, 
that actually does damage if I don't block it. That's okay, I can block that. Now here I'm supposed to rejuvenate. Hasa spell could also be interesting. Hasa spell could also be very interesting. It also uses more FP, but like Hustle Spell, and Mario can like... Because I'm basically already taking a ton of damage anyway, so I think Hustle Spell is even better. Yeah, I should Hustle Spell. That's even better. Like, there's not really another good opportunity to use this anyway. Now he's down to 157, which is a lot less HP. Decent bit less at the very least. It does drop me down to 30 HP though. It does drop me down to less HP, which could be a problem. down to 24. Yeah, the problem is here, now I'm pretty low, so I might not survive. Another thing is I took, I took some extra damage. I took 4 extra damage on that turn of Hustle spell. But I can just, like, not use Recoil Hammer on that turn if I need to preserve my HP. So in this turn I'm supposed to just like focus cloud nine, but what if I don't? What if I use focus on the previous turn? It's just better to use focus on the previous turn. It's just strictly speaking better, I take two less damage. I don't want to 
force myself to block that. And that leaves me at 28. Perfect. Now we recoil. Untimed. Do a little bit of extra damage. And now that, that just fixes my health problem. I was gonna inhale them this turn. I need that block. I want that block. So this smack does less damage than it expected. Cause I'm getting, I'm, I've maximized the amount of damage I'm doing to him. So this will only do five damage, right? No, cause I forgot to set up a, a block. I'm, I'm smart like that. I, I used rejuvenate instead of the correct thing. And then again. Is Cloud9 even worth it? Yes, because it reduces the damage not from one attack, but from several attacks. And the amount of total damage one Cloud9 reduces is more than that one using Rejuvenate on that turn would be worth. It's way more than 12 in total. It's like 12 over 2 turns, and you get 4 turns of that, so yeah. Uh, I was supposed to... Let's try that again, because I still screwed up. <laughs> I need to open a window, it's getting hot in here. Down to 18. Ah, I see. I was wondering if you're here, Griff. Hello, Griff. I'll be right back. Uh, you, you have not missed much, Griff. Uh, it's been over two hours of me trying to route this guy using only three, uh, three items. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, I'm, I'm trying to route this guy only using only three items. That, that, that's really all I have to say about that. Um, okay, we just, uh, we just recoiled you, Cloud9. Now it's recoil fan smack. Full recoil, full fan smack. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to route this guy with only three items. It's, it's so, super difficult. But at least in this timeline, I've routed out all my FP. Like, I, 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 I don't, I'm not wasting FP now, and that's good. So that makes this optimal, because I'm not wasting FP. Now, now Jelly Ultra here makes a ton of sense. Well, actually. Wait, 
I know, because, right, they changed Bombette's Mega Bomb to Shrink Bomb. Right, forgot about that. So yeah, that is my strongest attack all. supposed to do 18 or is my SP too high because it's possible that focus is just biting me in the butt like let's just refresh and do nothing and see if, how much the sky lightning does Cause like I was using refresh just to, but like it might it might not be important. I'm I'm just gonna ignore that pun griff. I'm just gonna ignore that. So if I do nothing, it's like that. Okay, no, no. Okay, that's that's 18 still, which means that I still have my boost. I thought I would. Yeah, I'll know when I don't have the boost because these guys will be doing more than six. So that brings me down to. Uh, 20 U, which is what my script says, so that the script is still on point. Then we recoil into air raid again, and I get down to 14. I wonder. I'm curious. Shrink bomb! Question mark. Now that's interesting. Oh, now that is interesting. That is very interesting. Shrink Bomb actually kills them in such a way that he doesn't spawn a new one. I thought air raid, because like if I, if I air raid here, He'll spawn a new one. Right? Yeah, a new one gets spawned. Whereas Shrink Bomb, that doesn't happen. He takes two... He'll take a little bit less damage, though. Right? How much does Shrink Bomb do? Shrink... Yeah, Shrink Bomb only does four. However... I'm not spawning another... Tough puff here. That means I take no damage, and the extra he would just heal back the extra two damage anyway. So yeah, this just means I take less damage. So shrink bomb is the answer there instead of air raid. Very interesting. Okay. Well, that means I live at 17 HP. Shrink bomb. Shouts to shrink bomb actually having use. Even I'll bet still not because of the shrink. That is very interesting. So now he's at 106 HP. What's his next attack? His next attack should be ground lightning, I think. We scroll up to his uh, attack script. Yeah, it should be ground lightning. So here I just want to definitely rejuvenate.
definitely just want to rejuvenate here. Right, I still have... No, I don't have it. Okay. So, yeah, here here on this turn, we, we absolutely have to cloud nine, then. Cloud nine. Mandatory. going to help reducing damage. Well, actually, is it going to reduce damage by that much? Because it'll reduce the ground lightning by, like, six. The smash and the blow on the smash will get reduced by a little bit. Yeah, it'll help. Yeah, I think it'll help. Yeah, I think that's better in the long run. So, yeah. It'll be Cloud 9. I mean, it may makes sense. And then, what's Mario going to do? I would like to get off a sm uh, um, a smooch. That's what I want. I want to farm a smooch. But I can't do it on this turn. So on this turn, I should probably just recoil you. Just to deal five extra damage. Wait, but the damage there, that means I die to this unless I block, don't I? Yeah, I die to that unless I block. So I can't actually... Can't actually do that. Don't want to do nothing, though. That's also bad. It might be better to actually rejuvenate here. <laughs> I'll take 20 damage, but... Hello, Boomy Jr. Uh... From a fellow Calvin. My name is not Calvin. You need to learn how to read. Well, I suppose if, you're, if your name is Calvin, then seeing Calvin would... Assuming it was said Calvin, so that's fine. But my name is not Calvin. Rejuvenate focus. Like Do I survive this even because like I wanna get off a of smooch, but I don't know if I survive this. Cause now I've got no damage reduction. Yeah, there's no way I survive this. Cause how much is this gonna? Actually, I survive at one. I would survive at one, but if I have to get the... That's still, though, that's a block or die situation, and I don't like that. Because I'm assuming I don't get a double... Uh, like, I, I don't mash fast enough to only take one damage there. But I would live at one. Then I could smooch, and then cloud nine. It's not my it's not my favorite situation to be in, but it wouldn't be a bad one necessarily. Or I could just not use the recoil throw. And it would be a lot safer. Might be better just not use recoil throw. It might be better to just refresh and then like focus the next turn a bunch. You might be able to just refresh here and then cloud nine. And 
And then I need I need two focuses. So refresh, because that will also fix my lower. Well, not that the lower attack. Yeah, refresh cloud nine, focus, uh, rejuvenate. This is a bit of a, a stall war that we're in, but if we can get to. Because hmm. if I can stall enough to get my star power up to the point where I don't need to use another, because like, hmm, this might work. Hustle spell might also be optimal here. No, Hustle Spell is dumb. Because I'm using Hustle Spell just for healing purposes. And then it's like I use 10 FP to get 20 HP back, so yeah, no. Rejuvenate. I should make a separation between his phases. I think. So yeah, this is... So, 8U. And this is where... This is where his cycle resets. Okay. Focus Rejuvenate. We get the 17 HP. Anyway, yeah, I should probably be like, yeah, this is Dark Star Edition, this is a Paper Mario mod, this is hard, and I'm trying to route this fight in such a way that it's the most optimal. I should explain why I'm trying to do this. There's, I'm trying to prepare for the hardest thing in the game, which is the, uh, the EX Boss Rush. I don't know if you're familiar with this game or not, but the EX Boss Rush is basically fight, fight the, uh, the buffed versions of every boss in a row, and it is incredibly difficult because... They're buffed versions, and normally you need, like, a full loadout of items to deal with the normal versions of the bosses. So, like, having to do all of the bosses in a row with very, very limited healing and that sort of thing, it requires in incredibly precise routing, so you know exactly what is going to happen on every single turn, and you can route your items accordingly. So that is what I'm trying to do. And yes, this is slow and boring and painful. I don't expect you to stick around. Thanks for dropping by. You probably already left. Okay, well, where was I? Um, right, we just focused rejuvenated. Uh, we're going to focus again here, and then we can smooch the next turn. We're going to focus rejuvenate again, and now let's just smooch. We're taking a bit less da more damage on this turn specifically. However, this is the turn where he uses the blow attack, which is his weakest attack, so that's fine. So yes, focus, rejuvenate, and then next turn, we're going to smooch, and maybe hustle spell. But yeah, this actually works out nicely, and then we can get a big burst of damage in. Maybe. This should do, like, six damage, I think. Yes. That's fine, though. So now we smooch. And now we've gotten back up to pretty much near full HP. Without having to use another item. And we've drained our SP. So this is, this is the optimal position. This is a really, really good board position to be in. So, next he's going to, uh, ground lightning and smash. Okay, we're a little premature here. But this is still a very, very good position. Next turn we have to... Okay, hold up. Do I want to delay that by a turn? So, one, two, three... I don't know, but... Next turn we probably want to cloud nine. So we 
want to make a save state here because we don't we don't know what we want to do on this turn. Hustle spell makes. Does hustle spell make sense? I don't actually think hustle spell makes sense. We have quote too much HP to rejuvenate. We would waste uh, we would waste FP. Whatever we do, he's just any damage we do, he's just gonna heal back. So it's either hustle spell or turbo charge, or maybe even do nothing. Maybe nothing's the optimal uh, move here. Nothing. If we hustle spell, the next turn, what can we do? We hustle spell here. He does the smash attack. We then what? He'll do ground lane. So we can get we can get like two full the thing is my partner has to cloud nine. So we can do like a bunch of damage. But not a lot of it's going to stick. So next turn we probably just want to. Maybe I just cloud nine again here. Refresh the cloud nine early. That's probably not a bad idea. I don't know. What we do on this turn is going to significantly impact what we do in the future, so... I've made a save state here. I want to know where my other states are. This is... Okay, this is just the start of this turn. I'll try cloud. I'll, I'll I'll we'll just start with cloud nine and see where what happens. This fight is probably the hardest to route. If I'm being honest, that didn't happen. Since we already have a safe state at the start of that turn. Because next turn instead we can we can recoil untimed and just uh, rejuvenate. Oh wait, do we want to not block that? We want to not block that, I think. Yeah, we don't want to block that. Cloud 9, no block. So that brings us to 39, no block. So actually, that means we don't want to block this attack either. We want to backpedal a little bit. Hold up. turn we focused wait no, what where are we on the script we just used shrink bomb Did we? where are we on the script yeah we just used shrink bomb so this is refresh cloud nine Griff, I'm not going to acknowledge your puns. This should be ground line, so yeah, we, we don't block this. It brings us down to eight, unblocked. And then on this turn, yeah, we don't want to block this. Smash. We don't want to block. Yeah, 
here. We focus rejuvenate. but we get one extra FP and then that goes to 42 and that goes to 38 no block and then we can uh, recoil and rejuvenate and we'll be at max HP after that rejuvenate and we won't have wasted any FP okay it's this this is min maxing to the max but it might matter so I'm, I'm gonna do it it's free and it might matter uh, okay focus rejuvenate makes sense here. Knowing that we can get a free rejuvenate next turn. We don't block. Perfect. I might be too low on FP. Hold up. I might not have enough, not have enough FP. I might not want to recoil here to conserve my FP. All I know is that, um, I definitely want to rejuvenate here. Well, I'm gonna get all my FP back. Cause he's about to use ground lightning, which is gonna, like, nuke my soul. But yeah, I'm definitely concerned about FP. So let's try recoil here. Cause I might... It's going to be very easy to accidentally proc him too low. Then again, I might be able to knock him low with the, with the shrink bomb. Oh, I want to do that. I want that to be possible. I want to knock him below 60 with the shrink bomb. So that way all of the things are dead and he's below 60, so he'll only, he'll only do his kamikaze attack with one thing, and that minimizes the damage. That's the best possible outcome. Can we do that? I don't know, but I want that to be possible. Okay, what we do on this turn is important. So I'm just going to do nothing, and we'll, we'll go from here. Because this action command is important. This is the start of this turn. So that's that important action. So let's start with nothing and see where this goes. This is ground lightning. Rejuvenate. We just rejuvenate again. Thirty-six U. sure what we want to do. We could we could easily toss in a focus here. I'll just use focus just out of lack of any other ideas. It's optimal to not block this. And then again it might not that one HP might matter, I don't know. Oh my cloud nine is almost out. No, that's bad. I might have to take some really strong attacks without a cloud nine on. Anyhow, we'll see how this goes. Um, okay. This is where... This is where things get iffy. Okay, 
Okay, yeah. So this is where we want to uh, maximize the amount of damage we do. focus here. Air Raid is a must here. Okay, let's think. What, what do I want? How do I want this to work? Shrink Bomb only does four. I might need to do another Air Raid. I think refresh here is the answer. I think we need to air raid refresh. And we've only used two items so far, so we're doing looking pretty good right now, actually. No, hold up, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Because after his kamikaze attack, I'm gonna need to use his I I'm gonna need to use another item. Or something. This doesn't work. This is lost, I think. It's like, I, I refresh this turn. He's gonna use his... Cause like, I'm, the thing is, I'm also out of cloud nine here. It's like, I'm in a really bad position. Hello, Drippy Sensei. Now, what he's gonna do on this turn is uh, ground lightning. No, no, it's Sky Lightning. So this is, this is, with only one, this is gonna do like 24 damage. Or something. I don't think I'll survive. Oh yeah, cause that did eight. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm dead here. I'm dead in this timeline. That was with a block too. So yeah, no, this doesn't work. Because if, if we can, we take a ton of damage on this turn. This is the critical turn. We take so much damage on this turn. And this is where things kind of suck a little bit. The problem is I'm out of a cloud nine. And that that's the big problem. Because my cloud nine runs out too early. So yeah, I think we just need we need to backpedal several turns. Uh, okay, this this is the best turn. This, this, after, at this turn, this is this is optimal where we're at right now. Um, we just cloud nine the previous turn. That actually that cloud nine on the previous turn might not be optimal. I don't think that Cloud9 is optimal. I think we just keep using Refresh and stall him until he gets into that spot. Because the thing is, that's the only spot in this AI script where he does two consecutive uh, uh, attacks without healing. And we need two consecutive attacks to kill them all. And that's... So I think we just want to stall here. So I think we want to backpedal even further. Where are we on this script? Okay, this is where... I, okay, this is just the turn prior. 
This is where I used Smooch. Smooch here is optimal. And I think we just do nothing on this turn. Oh wait, no, we don't we don't want to block that. We don't want to block that. Because our, our FP was also really low. And that Cloud Nine's really not important, so. Uh, nothing, I think, is, is optimal here. Then, from on in this timeline, um. I mean, we want Buzzatrice to use Rejuvenate. Rejuvenate is still, still happens. There's no reason to not. Um, and then possibly focus? Probably focus. We take a crap ton of damage there. And then we rejuvenate again. I think we just need to stall with rejuvenate. No reason to not focus on that turn. And that brings, but that, if that brings you down to 30, I'm blocked. And then on this turn, it might be dangerous to use another focus. That's the problem here. It's probably dangerous to use another focus. Oh wait, no. Th this is the turn where we want to use. I think this is the turn where we want to use Cloud9, right? Because next turn we go into the damage loop. Okay, because this is the turn he smacks. So that turn I want to use Cloud9 on. I've lost track of which turn this save state's on. Okay, this is ground lightning. So yeah, focus. Focus rejuvenate on this turn is correct. I may want to hustle spell actually. If I use my second hustle spell, I might be able to get like a double focus in. And that would get me really, really close to like smooch. And I might need that smooch. Cause on this turn, on this turn it's pretty much mandatory that we cloud nine. absolutely need the cloud nine to reduce the damage. But the problem is we also need HP. I almost need my partner to have multiple turns. You can try focus here and see what happens. I might want to... Because right now I've got good FP. So it might actually be better to block that. It's 
Probably better to block that. Because now, now we need to go into the doing all the damage possible. Because on this turn we need to... We need to fill up... This with as much as possible. Here we take so much damage. Maybe we use cake on this turn. This feels like an ultra shrimp cake kind of position. on this turn, I'm going to take an absurd amount of damage. Assuming I don't block the ground lightning. That's 14 plus 6 plus 6. So it's only 26, actually. It's not that much, but it is a lot. But my partner doesn't get a chance to do anything else. That's the problem. My partner has to air raid. This is a mandatory air raid. So I think I have to use uh, Ultra Shrimp Cake. I think I have to use my third item on this turn. And then hope that, like, Smooch and all that stuff can carry me to the end. So I think on this turn we have to use Ultra Shrimp Cake. This is my third item. To not do one of the focuses though. It depends if my SP gets high enough where I take extra damage. I don't know. It's like this is an optimal time to use Ultra Shrimp Cake. And now I'm, I'm gonna live at two. Oh, this is Sky Lightning. I'm dead. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. I thought it was... Yeah, I miscounted. Oh, that's bad then. I probably just need to use the Ultra Shroom Cake a turn earlier then. Okay, we need to backtrack again, because this is still a dead timeline. Okay, 30 HP. This is after he just did his attack, I'm pretty sure. So this turn, I Ultra Shroom Cake. The thing is, now I'm going to, like, overcap practice, pretty much, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, not take enough damage, and I'm going to waste it. I did not do the light... Uh, I, I did not do the light... Okay, tech... You're right. I did the light boss rush. This is the EX boss rush, I think. I'm mixing up the names. You're right. Griffy got me. Let me change my title real quick. I forgot the light boss rush was the thing in the temple. I didn't really consider it a, much of a boss rush, but... Because it's so different from the other ones in here. Which are the dark, the normal, and the EX. But you're, you're completely right, Griff. Yeah, the thing is, now... It's like, that's not a great time to use that item. It's just not. Because I'm using it too early. I've taken a lot 
taken one turn of healing. And this maxed out my HP and FP, but this isn't optimal because I'm hitting my cap, and that's unfortunate. I don't want to hit my cap and waste healing. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Like, this will ensure that I'm at full HP for whatever happens next, but... For this turn, which I do need to be at full HP for, I guess. Oh, I guess... I don't really have much of another option, though. That's the problem. Air raid mandatory on this turn. Okay, then we recoil throw? Yes, perfect. Yes, okay. Then the, the, the power bomb is going to take him to 59. The damage works out perfectly. But the problem is, I really want to heal after on this turn, like... But I can't, really. Recoil. Brings it down to 20. Then we need to. The order of the air raid and the recoil don't matter. And then here we, it would be better to shrink bomb first since we're at full FP. So yeah, shrink bomb. Because Shrink Bomb, they all take the damage before they die. The animation for Shrink Bomb, ha that has to finish before they can die. But the damage is already done, so that means there's no spare slot. And that's why Shrink Bomb does that. Also, I should probably switch to a Flying Partner. I should switch off of uh, Bombat. And then I guess I probably refresh on this turn. Refresh makes sense. You can't damage me. Now you do your desperation attack, which does some unknown amount of damage. Only ten. Ah, oh, but Cloud Nine runs out on that turn. That's bad. That's that's actually really, really bad. I wonder then. Do I need to focus? Or refresh? I would love to get a smooch off. Because I don't think I'm going to get through this without getting a smooch off. But the problem is here, on this turn, I'm pretty sure that I lose both of my buffs. Both of my defense buffs. I think I, lo I lose both defense buffs here. Which is not good. And this should be ground lightning, I'm pretty sure. Like, 
weave in a hustle spell somehow. Can I weave in a hustle spell somehow? Where did I weave in a hustle spell? I mean, instead of that focus, I could kill the other tough buff. I could truth stomp the tough buff. How much damage does this do? Eight, I think? better. Brings me down to 8. Or to 12, rather. Well, it also means he can't heal that. So now, again, I'm in the bind. He's gonna do ground lightning. Which, I do survive ground light. No, ground lightning without the... If I cloud nine and refresh here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose FP. I, I, this is fine, but I'm gonna lose FP. So do I either rejuvenate in cloud nine or, or refresh in cloud nine? I mean... Refresh and rejuvenate or refresh in Cloud 9. Probably refresh Cloud 9. Because I, I need to burn some FP. Because without Cloud 9, it's... I need, I need to check. How much damage is it? Ground lightning, right? Sky lightning! Okay, um... Okay, that's bad. Why did he do... Why did he do sky lightning? Is he supposed to skip... So that's what I th Did I just lose track? Yeah, I thought it was sky lightning. Okay, so he does sky lightning. So... We only survive if we rejuvenate plus refresh. That's the only way to survive. Did that do 24 regardless of the block or not? I'm not sure if the block matters there, actually. I might do too much damage that the block doesn't mean anything. So I'm at three if I don't block. Okay. So. Refresh. Rejuvenate. Three. Okay. 
I mean, that's the only option. Uh, how much damage does a smash do? All things I don't have, so this is gonna still hurt. Actually, it doesn't. It does low enough damage because he's low enough. So if I don't block that, am I screwed if I don't block? I die if I miss that block, but that's an easy block, and I might have to do that. I might, ha I might have to accept that do or die position, because I kind of want to hustle spell here. Then again, I think double rejuvenate is fine in the long run. I think rejuvenate focus is fine. We just need to start transferring FP and SP into HP. And things, this does so little damage. See, I should block that. Three, you unblocked. And then. Yes, focus, uh, rejuvenate. And now, uh, we want to focus and rejuvenate again. Definitely rejuvenate, because he's gonna do sky lightning. Which is gonna do a lot of damage, that's... Well, no, it won't, it won't cap out my FP. It won't cap out my FP, so we're good, actually. It won't cap my FP out. We're good. So I can focus here. So it'll do 20. So yeah, this is fine. Because, again, it's a 1 to 1 ratio here. Because of the 1 to 1 ratio... Rejuvenate, focus... And then we rejuvenate focus again. That's six unblocked, and that's the end of his uh, loop. So now we start AI loop three. For how short of a. Like, this fight is not that many turns. It's like. I should be able to kill him in the third cycle, I imagine. Hopefully. Because, like, yeah, the, the, if we... Because if we can go all out in the third phase if we're going to kill him, that's the thing. We can just go all out because we don't need to worry about surviving because he dies. That's the advantage we've got here. Anyway, we, we need to keep rejuvenating. Rejuvenate focus again. Probably. And that lets me use smooch, and that smooch is what's super important. Cause yeah, that his smash does no damage now. Even without even with no buffs, his his does no damage, so focus, rejuvenate, so yeah, we've got this. And this is why we don't need to worry about uh using an item in the last third of the fight, because he he does so little damage with the smash. So now we can smooch. And that gets my HP back. And now we're golden. We can smooch, rejuvenate. And then we've got no fear. Rejuvenate. I mean, at this point, the battle is won. And that brings us up to 43-ish. So yeah. Okay, we've got the script down pat. It took ages, but we got it. Okay. Now we're going to start doing petty damage. Probably should get up um, Cloud 9. Probably. Right? Yeah. Definitely. Mm. 
I, I, okay, I got, I should, I mashed, I mashed too hard. Too good. Okay, so now, brings us to, uh, so what, what did we do that turn? Uh, that turn we did, uh, we did recoil, untimed, plus cloud nine, and we would be normally at 38 damage. And on this turn, uh, this is the turn where he does the ground lightning. So, how much damage can we do in a single cycle? Like, if we just wait, how much damage can we do in the double cycle? Because we don't, we can just focus straight on him, and because we don't need to kill the other. We don't need to kill his minions, so... 10 times 3, Fansmack will do 30 damage. Mario can definitely do the rest. So we just need to stall, actually. All we need to do right now is stall until the optimal opening. That's what we need to do here. We need to just stall. So actually, not recoiling coil throwing there is probably better. To save the FP and the, the HP. Because we just need to stall for the right moment. I don't have a save state for a while, do I? Oh god, yeah. I, I, I didn't save state until after I... I hadn't save stated for ages. Oof. It's okay. I know what we're doing. We just stall. At least this will be- this is the hardest boss to route, at the very least, like, the, the Crystal King, I already know the route off- off the top, like, by heart, because it's not anything special. It's just Crystal King. He's very simple, and Bowser's just throw whatever you have left at him. Bowser might take a bit to route, but you can't really route Bowser, because Bowser's got a decent amount of randomness to him. Bowser won't be consistent. So I can practice his blocks, but I can't really route him. Oh, uh, what did we just do? We're at 17 here. Uh, so now we smooch rejuvenate. Smooch. Smooch rejuvenate. And we're probably going to want to use some refreshes to get some FP back. Focus here makes more sense. I don't know if I need the cloud nine. Eh, I probably need the cloud. Actually, no, I don't need the cloud nine because I'm stalling. I'm gonna use rejuvenate, so I don't actually need the cloud nine. So I can just do nothing, nothing, and it works perfectly fine here. See, I'm gonna take a decent amount of damage from this. Oh wait, no, this was wasn't even the attack I was expecting.
and then... Wait, do I want to refresh there? I mean, it's fine, it's fine. It doesn't really matter what I do here. But refresh, and then... Does Since he's gonna do ground lightning, then smash, and... Then is when we want to be ready, so... We're gonna want a Cloud... Maybe Cloud 9 here, actually. Cloud 9 makes sense here. Yeah, Cloud 9 here makes sense. Because it'll last for one, two, three... So it'll last until he dies. It'll run out the turn he dies. Like, the turn before he dies, so yeah, we're good. This will be the last Cloud 9. I think. If I calculated correctly. And how much HP are we at? 33 U. It's fine. 33 U. Then we just kind of do nothing, rejuvenate. Nothing, rejuvenate. And then we go ham. Okay. This is where we kill him, right? Okay. Just want, we just want to deal as much damage as we can. turn I take a shit ton of damage. Pardon my language. I take a ton of damage on this turn. But I've got enough FP. So I take a ton of damage on this turn. Because this is where he does, uh, he does, wait, is this, yeah, this is Sky Lightning on this turn. See, I need to deal 10 more damage, because this is dead, we're dead on this timeline. Yeah, we're dead on this timeline. So that means I've got 6 FP to spare. So I think... So I don't need that much FP. So actually... Hmm... I think if we rejuvenate there. Okay, we need to we need to backtrack a bit. Thirty-three. Is that this turn? No, this is after we just cloud nine. We need to get him down to forty-nine. We need to do ten extra damage to him, so we need to backtrack again. Further, further back. Okay, th we're back here. We're back here. This is where I used uh, focus and rejuvenate. I don't know if the focus is actually that important. Um, this turn, I might be able to get away with an untimed recoil on this turn. 
Oh, I don't actually. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can get away with that. Just ground lightning will do. No, I don't get away with that. This turn, we still have to rejuvenate. But what instead instead of uh, focusing here? Since I don't, I shouldn't need the smooch. I need FP more than HP. I don't need the smooch actually, because I'm not planning on. I'm planning on killing him. A turn earlier, so I don't actually need as much HP. So I should be fine to just like refresh here. Well, like if you're refreshing here is probably better, and then I can. So I want to min max my FP. Like if I'm full FP, like recoil throw. So yeah, if I might, I should be fine to just refresh here. I think. I'm doing, trying to do 59 damage in one cycle. Not one turn, but one cycle, but I can't. Okay, well let's pretend I didn't block that. That would bring me down to 11. So here, we refresh rejuvenate. Now here, we recoil. We recoil unblocked. And we rejuvenate. Actually, no, we probably. It's probably better to cloud nine than on this. Otherwise, they'll do six. Because he does no damage. So, yeah, I can rejuvenate here. So, actually, I might need that smooch then. I might need that smooch. No, because I can't get the smooch if I don't use all those focuses. But I might be able to delay the smooch. Just put the smooch there. See, yeah, I just need one more recoil. Rejuvenate. So we focus. So we focused. Where am I on the script? So we used that refresh, and then instead of focusing on that turn, we used recoil. Then on this turn, we're going to use focus. I don't know if we're going to. This turn we recoil again, and then we refresh on this turn. Re focus. Okay, I think I've got it. See, on this turn we focus. Yeah. Okay, on this turn we recoil again. And now he's low enough. Now he's low enough such that we can kill him before he does the sky lightning. And I guess we don't need to wait until the sky lightning. Well, no, because okay, yeah, no, this yeah, no, this is still needed. But now my FP is getting low. But it's okay, because we'll get a big burst of FP back from that one turn, but I still take a decent amount of damage, so. Okay, 
Okay, now he does nothing, so... After this turn, I should be at 30. This turn, who knows? And this turn, who knows? Um, H my HP values aren't exactly important anymore, so... Uh, this turn... Uh, this turn we set up for the kill. So, I can actually just refresh here. I don't need to focus. We Do we need the Cloud Nine? I don't know if we need the Cloud Nine. He just did the smash. So we've got two turns here. We can just go for it here. No, because in this turn he does the... He does the... No, we can't go for it here, because he's about to nuke me on this turn. Right. He nukes me on this turn. So I actually don't think we want a Cloud9 here, because I want to... I want more FP back. So we rejuvenate here. And we probably just refresh. I'm guessing. He's gonna do ground lightning on this turn. And then we... Yeah, we want the FP back. Okay, yeah. Rejuvenate. Refresh. Living system 27. Unblocked. Okay. Now we just need to stall one more turn, and then we just... We win. So, I don't... Yeah, I don't actually need to do anything on this turn. I, we, we can just do double nothing. I should have enough F... I think that's enough FP. I hope that's enough FP. Nothing, nothing? And we should still take no damage here. Just stall out the turn. And then now we should be able to... I might need the Cloud 9. I don't know if I need the Cloud 9 or not. I don't think I need the Cloud 9. I think Recoil, Fansmack, Recoil, Fansmack is enough, right? Yeah, Recoil, Fansmack, Recoil, Fansmack is enough. So we just need to survive this turn, which we will definitely survive. Yeah. Okay. That's the script, and that only used three items. Oh, free jam and jelly. That took an eternity, but... Okay. Recoil, fan smack. Recoil, fan smack. GG. Okay. That only uses three items. And then we use a full heal before Crystal King, obviously. We we very much so have to full heal before Crystal King. Now to test now we need now we get to test to see if it's even possible to do Crystal King under our current conditions. Convenience, I'll switch to Cooper. Okay, hardest... Th in my opinion, this is the hardest fight in the game. This is, in my opinion, the absolute hardest fight in the game. Okay. Okay. Crystal King. Thing is, 
it's really hard to get a, a script for this guy because like Okay, first of all, we have to dark cake. Dark cake mandatory turn 1. Dark cake fire shell. Hopefully we should because of the dark cake and all that stuff, we should take next to no damage. If not none. Perfect. That's really 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 good that we take no damage. Okay, that's so good. Okay. Dark cake, fire shell. Okay. Flame smash, of course. Fire shell. My damage output's less than I'd like, but we don't we won't need to heal like at all during this fight. Except for FP. My my big concern now is FP. Cause I'm gonna be super low on FP. Okay. Dark kick fire shell. Three bits. Then we have uh I'll I'll write down what he does. Okay, then on this turn be flame hammer. Fire Shell, Summon, this is Crystal King EX, Griff, this is the hardest fight in the game. Then we Flame Hammer, Fire Shell, he'll bits on me. It doesn't look like it, but that's because A, we haven't gotten to the hard part, and B, uh, I'm... you not seeing all the hidden mechanics that I'm dodging. Shoot. That damage is really bad. I, I I'm not... I'm not accepting that. I'm assuming I would block everything. I mean, I ha- I have to. the block enemy because of emulator lag. See, so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use some sort of FP healing item. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna have to use a cake. I mean, it won't take nearly as long, Griff, but it's, it's way harder to execute because this is not strategy-based. This is skill-based. This is about blocking. The strategy is mindless, pretty much. But actual, the actual execution is really, really good. It is really, really hard. That's the problem. It's the execution. I need to just rush as much damage as I can while I've got the plus attack and the plus defense. Why am I missing? Okay, I need to, I need to practice these blocks. That's bad. I cannot be missing any blocks on this fight. My, my, my hand stance is wrong. Also because of the lag. That's why. I can block all these. I know I can. If I don't, then I'm terrible. Same deal. Okay, summon and fire. Or on this turn, right? Yep. Uh, next turn should be the blizzard. I'm low on FP. Alt save here. I 
have to block this. Oh, right, I have to block this on... Right. Right. Okay, switch to Buzzatrice. The lag's preventing me from blocking on Cooper. Okay. Sith. Same thing. Blizzard. Okay. Uh, Blizzard. Remember to switch to Buzzatrice. Okay. Um. I do actually have enough for one more round of that. That's good. Just enough FP, which is really nice. This should be the, um, this should be the bolt. This is my first real damage. It, it is really ironic how his most dangerous attack in Vanilla became his least dangerous attack. Okay. This is turn six. Okay, Mario needs to... I mean, there's no reason to not Jelly Ultra here. It seems stupid, but the 2 HP could matter. And there's no reason to carry just a Jam and Jelly when it could be a Jelly Ultra. Jelly Ultra. Fire Shell. This should be Blizzard again, I think. Or wait, no, no, I, I don't want to do Jelly Ultra. I want to do, um, the Cake, I think. I don't, but, hmm. I don't know what I want. I don't know what's more important. This, I might need to Golden Shroom Cake here. I don't know. Probably Cake. I, I don't know what Cake I need, though. First, though, we, uh, oh no, we have to, okay, we have to get the double block here because we're out of FP. That's bad. That's bad. Switch. I'll write switch there. Um, okay. I'll try with a normal Ultra Shroom Cake. I would love to save the Golden Shroom Cake for Bowser. Bumps Mike. Might not be able to, though. Oh, no, this doesn't work. Oh, shoot, this doesn't work. This doesn't work? Oh, no, this doesn't work. Because we don't get the FP back immediately. So instead of the last Flame Hammer, if we're gonna cake, we have to cake on that turn. We're probably going to need to use two items on this guy anyway. Well, we already used the dark cake. I'm, I'm really going to need to route out all my Tubba Blubba items. I can't be wasting that many items on Tubba Blubba. I can't. I just, I just can't afford to. Because I need so many more items for the endgame bosses. Okay, um... Well, let's just let's just try let's just try try the jelly ultra and see where this timeline goes. I'm gonna want to redo this fight a bunch to practice the block anyway because the blocks are the most important part. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is actually really bad. This is bad. Okay, this is this is this is really bad. This is, this is, this is really, really bad. That's, okay, that's, that is incredibly bad. Okay, um. If I do nothing. 
Shoot. But are you okay? You're above hundred. Are you going to attack? Okay, this is this is this is bad. I have to avoid that attack at all cost. I cannot let him do that attack. No matter what, that attack cannot happen. I I, deal, I dealt too much damage to him. That's the problem. I did too much damage. Too fast. What's his threshold? I think it's 90. I need to, like, drop him below 90, I think. The problem is, on this turn... So that means in the previous turn... Fine, we'll go to a previous, an even more previous turn. Just Buzzatris. What do you do on this turn? Summon bits, okay. But if I get him low he'll do enough he'll do the bolt and then I I, I can't quite fire spell either. That's the problem. Maybe I need to take hit a hit from a, one of the bits in order to uh, be able to hustle spell it. No, no, that doesn't work. Okay, I, th I think fire shell here is just mandatory. It's the only thing that makes sense. Fire shell here only makes sense. Because the thing is, I can... I, I need to save my hustle spells for later on, because... Hustle spell gets rid of, uh, gets rid of the freeze. I can use hustle spell to undo the freeze. And I, that's something that I need to keep in mind. Okay, um. So, that means then... Fire shell. That means we need to use a cake on this turn. Emulator, please don't cause random lag. Okay. Then we need to... Ultra cake, I guess. This is before the bolt, so I don't. I can just use like a jam, like a jam and jump. I mean, I will make it just in case. I might, because I might take damage from the bits. That's the thing. Let's try the ultra shroom cake. Still summons the bits. Thank you, lag. <clears throat> it's fine, because I'm going to heal at the end of this turn. So that means if I use the cake, I can actually just face tank the damage there. 
That might be slightly optimal. Let's preserve slightly more HP. Yes. So actually then, I should probably not block some of these bits attacks to maximize the amount of FP I have. Okay, we're gonna restart this fight. We're gonna not block some of these attacks. Like we can definitely get away without blocking some of these, I'm pretty sure. So what matters is blocking the attacks that freeze. We're getting a lot of FP back too. We might also just die here. Okay, this is the turn he uses the blizzard on. But the blizzard does... Yeah, no, this doesn't work. too much damage. <clears throat> this is a delicate balance. Because I, I want to be at full HP after the third Ultra Cake turn. So we can get away with no blocking the third round of bits. But we, and maybe even the second? But we, but we definitely need to block the first. Now we don't block these on purpose. We purposely don't block the next round also. early. There we go. Okay, in this timeline I have a lot more FP, but the problem is my HP is super low. Mm, 
normally he would use his bolt attack here. Or no, I'm I'm just ahead of when I fought him before because I have right, so hmm. I'll just get away with the flame smash. No, the bit the bits will annihilate me. I have to use the cake here. I have to use Ultra Shroom Cake here. He does bits here. We don't need to block. And now, we might be able to fire shell flame hammer. We might be good. We m this might be low enough so that he uh, skips. Okay, this is ground blizzard, right? So that right, we needed a ground blizzard then, right? That's that's why. So yeah. If you do this, you ground blizzards. No block. Okay. And then here we So yeah, what was it? It was It was just this. And then here it's the same thing. Okay, I think. Flame hammer, except it sh this should be Monty. Mon this should be... This should be Three King Monty. be right back.
Okay, we back. Let's see. Um, okay. Uh, I suspect he'll do three King Monty on this turn. And this is where things start getting hard. He also might heal. Healing is also possible. If he healed here, that would be lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, he's doing the bolt! Yo, the bolt, that's good. Okay. Bolt, that's fine. going to be Monty. Oh, my star power regen. Dang. I forgot, how, since this is such a long fight, my star power regen is gonna, gonna seriously be a problem. Oh, this is... I don't know if I'm even gonna... should be able to do this. He should be guaranteed to heal here, right? He should be guaranteed to heal. Right? Nope, three King Monty. Which one? Right, it's super, super late timing. I got that, but sure. Okay. Do I have enough? Yeah, Mega Bolt's only. It's just so much more expensive. I'm concerned about my FP situation. I mean, I guess my. I don't need to really worry about my SP situation because I didn't have. Because, yeah, the damage is your. So, yeah, actually, I don't need to worry about that. I might have to use another item, though. I don't know. Just Mega Bolt. We need to do as much damage as fast as possible. Although, that's a lot of, like. It's only three extra. I don't know. It might be better to Electro Dash. just to save the FP. <laughs> so... Electro Dash... He should heal here. He, like, he should be guaranteed to heal, right? Regardless, but partner should just always go first in this fight. This is pretty much never a turn where Mario goes first in this fight. So let me redo these the script accordingly. It's important to write this down, you know? I shouldn't need to write down switch. I 
should remember, yeah, I'd hope. Okay, I'm imagining that he's going to heal here, and obviously we flame him. Mary, Mary, Mary always flame smashes. Always. Heal. Yeah, okay, there's heal one. Use the proper name, flame smash, not flame hammer. Jeez, guys. Smash King Monty. He might do Standing Blizzard, but I don't think he will. It'd be better if he did Standing Blizzard. But... <clears throat> of course, this is this only works if the if the script goes perfect. If this if we go off script, then all hell breaks loose. Okay. This is Blizzard. And then this is pretty much guaranteed to be King Three King Monty. I'm pretty sure. through this without using another item. Uh, middle, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's front... When, when it's the opposite of that, and the front one goes to the right, and back one to the left, then it's right, and that's the exception, I'm pretty sure. But when it's like that, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, middle. And then again, that felt like a front, so I don't know. Let us check. I say it should be middle. Yeah, it was middle. He might do heal number two here. That'd be nice if he did. Okay, heal two. Eight turn. Oh, this is eight turns for 94 HP. It could be 88 HP if I used. Like, this, this is good pace, but. The average pace, but problem is my FP is really low, and I if he does he could do standing blizzard here. Regardless of what he does, we obviously do this. But I mean, th this script only works if we don't miss any blocks. Like if if we miss a block on Mario, then we're, we basically lose anyway. I should probably heal, honestly, on this turn. Okay, this is Standing Blizzard. Ah, uh, but I get plenty FP back from that, so okay, yeah. This is the last free Standing Blizzard, I think. No, it shouldn't. I should divide it up by how many turns are left. 
This is getting to be a big wall of text. Anyway, on this turn, I should probably heal. One, two, three, four, eight. After eight attacks. Thirteen. Okay, on this turn, we want to, f assuming things aren't terrible, we're gonna fire shell, and we definitely want to use another, probably another ultra cake. Ultra Shroom Cakes are just super good. They, re they restore less FP, but because it's gradual, I don't hit cap out, and then when he does damage... It's also, I can't. So that has to be an Ultra Shrimp Cake. So this is going to be King Monty. I don't have another ultra cake. That's bad. I have the golden shrimp cake. Did I really only have one ultra cake? That's bad. I mean, I can try jelly ultra. It's not that different. Jelly ultra should be fine. King Monty, what's it gonna be? Middle. Late timing. Okay. At this point, I probably want a Mega Bolt. He's low enough. want to deal as much damage as possible. Mega Bolt, Flame Smash. Smash King Monty. Now my defense buff is also gone now. So I'm going to be taking more damage. Super late timing. I was okay, that's bad. Um, not great. I mean, I can hustle here. rather load a save state and make sure that didn't happen though and just test if if get a perfect script and then start figuring out how to go off script
Okay, that was, that time it was front. Right. Yeah, it, it's, or it was on the left, right? I forgot. When, when the middle one is on top, it's all, he's on the left. So it's early timing. Okay, in theory, if he blizzards, I would kill him next turn. And if, assuming I didn't screw that up. So if I screwed that up, I would hustle spell here. So it'd be Mega Bolt, Flame Smash, Blizzard. Oh, that didn't give, doesn't give Mary's turn back this turn. Interesting. Because Mary already lost his turn. But it makes me immune this turn. I forgot to check. Yeah, I would do that. I forgot to check which one it was. But yeah, if, assuming I was paying attention, or if I was really desperate, I would just use uh, Air Raid. Air Raid and then double flame smash and he dies. Okay. So then it's just another fire shell flame smash. GG. Okay. Free booster shroom. Yay. Okay, that's that's not that bad. I can I can I can work with that. That's not that bad. I have to block three King Monty three times, two or three times. The fourth one, as I just showed, there's I can back that up. It is better with an Ultra Cake instead of, uh, I'm certain it's better with an Ultra Cake instead of, uh, with out, but... Anyhow. I think what we need to do is now is now we need to set up our items because we can't really get a a plan for dark bowser like dark bowser ex we can't really plan for that so i mean we can try but first i want to get my items set up because now i know now i know exactly how many items i can have for Dark Bowser. Because I know what items are absolutely mandatory. Oh, right, I have, uh... What is it? It's... It's this button, apparently. Uh, Tote Town. And then that button to warp. Okay. Okay. Right, I've got nothing but bomb juice to <laughs> God, and whack -a bumps Okay, I forgot about my whack -a bump collection. Okay. Uh, items we need. Dark Cake X3. Um. Okay. Goomba King needs no items. Koopa Bros. Jelly Ultra X2. So how many Jelly Ultras? One, two... Five. Jelly Ultra X5. No items on... No, wait, we use Ultra Shroom Cake and a Biscuit. So... Biscuit X1. Ultra Shroom Cake X... Like, four... Pretty much. We used an Ultra Shroom Cake on Tutton Koopa. We used an Ultra Shroom Cake on Labaprana. Huff and Puff needs two Jelly Ultras and an Ultra Shroom Cake. 
That's seven Jolly Ultras. That's 15 items. I need to reduce the items I use on uh, Blubba. Because Dark Bowser with seven items, one of which is a Dark Cake, is gonna be rough. I mean, I can probably avoid using the Dark Cake on Dark Bowser. Maybe if I, like, lead with Shell Out Turn... No. Because I have to lead Turn 1... Hmm. Right. Right. It's turn 1, Mario loses his turn, pretty much. So, but then I might have to use bow. I don't know. And then on Crystal King... We used another dark cake. Or ultra we used two more ultra shrimp cakes. Hold up. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Two dark cakes. One Yoshi biscuit. We need a lot of Ultra Shroom Cakes. We should just need to fill our entire inventory with Ultra Shroom Cakes and Jelly Ultras now. I mean, I've got I've got money at least. Cake mix plus Ultra Shroom. I'm saving my best items for Bowser. Which are my Golden Shroom Cake, my Golden Meal, and my Miracle Golden. Bowser items. Dark Cake, Golden Shroom Cake, Miracle Golden, Golden Meal, I don't think we can get any better items than that. Miracle gel, miracle jellies really aren't that. Nice, I don't know. I'll need to double check some stuff. For now, though, we need to go buy some ultra shrooms. <laughs> a lot of them. Oh, my, my, whatever. Um, let's check the items we're saving for battle. Just check okay. one jelly ultra, two jelly ultra, three jelly ultra, four jelly ultra. Okay. I need to I need to reroute my uh, tub of blubber fight. I'm pretty sure I should be able to get through him with only uh. Like, without having to use, um, like, with just spamming Rejuvenate every turn with Buzzatrus. But I need to confirm that. Like, if I miss a block on poison or whatever, like, the Bowser can get off script so fast. Even the Crystal King will also go off script really fast, too, but if I miss, like, a single block, Bowser will go off script very, very quickly, and that's the problem.
We're saving a biscuit for the golden shrimp cake, because that's such a good combo. Doubling the, the value of my best healing item. I don't know if the frozen fries are going to be important or not. Check all these ultra shrimp cakes. Okay. What, how many of these do I have? Let's see. I want that cake mix. Two dark cakes. So many whack a bumps. Holy crap. I didn't realize I had this many. Four jelly ultras. Four jelly ultras and four ultra shrimp cakes. I think that should be enough jelly ultras if I can route out the three out of um, Tubba Blubba. And then ultra shrimp cakes, I need two more. Right? I might also be able to route some of them out of, uh, out of Koopa Bros, maybe. Don't know about that. I like how we don't block anything during the Titan Cuba fight. <laughs> That's my favorite part. It's just routed, I don't need to block anything, which is fun. So yeah, you use an Ultra Shrimp Cake, Tubba Lubba, none. Lava Piranha uses an Ultra Shrimp Cake, that's two. Huff and Puff uses one Ultra Shroom Kick, that's three. Crystal King uses two, that's five. Wait, so five. Poor guy, got his account hacked. Use okay, let, let me just double triple check. Cause if I come in here with the wrong items, that's gonna be bad. Two on you. Totten Koopa uses one cake. Blubba should use zero cakes. General guy, nothing. Lava Prana uses one cake. Huff and Puff uses one cake and two jelly ultras. Crystal King uses, uh, one cake. That's only four, what? No, great, Crystal King uses two cakes. Technically, he can, doesn't need a second cake, but uh, I think a cake is better, so yeah. I need one more cake. Cake mix, plus ultra shrimp cake. Okay. So how many items is that? That's... Five, six, eight... That's fifteen items used. 12 if I don't use three ultra jelly ultras on whatever his name is, so. So really what do I want for Bowser? Dark cake, obviously. Biscuit, obviously. Golden shroom cake, gold, miracle golden, and golden meal, obviously. That's five items right there. There's a, that's only three items potentially left anyway that I could use. Okay. So Bowser, we check the milk golden. We check the golden meal. I have a biscuit in here, right? So I don't need I don't think I need three Yoshi biscuits.
Unless I want another Yoshi Biscuit from Dark Bowser. I probably do want another Yoshi Biscuit for Dark Bowser. Yoshi Biscuit and a normal shrimp. Like another shrimp cake and then like a Jelly Ultra. But what about the fries? The frozen fries are a good emergency item. Oh, that's just the problem. I don't have enough healing items. Dark Bowser is gonna be terrible. I can might be able to route Koopa Bros to also use one less Jelly Ultra. I don't even think I'm gonna have enough time today to finish this. Okay, we will never use this booster shroom. That much is certain. This raw golden shroom? Alright, it cures status. We might want a raw golden shroom. I think a raw golden shroom is just not a bad idea because it cures statuses. So I think that's a good idea. Just having one raw golden shroom. Because the jelly ultras don't. But that would mean I wouldn't get frozen fries. And frozen fries are really a good emergency item against Bowser. Plus five defense for three turns. Like, that is very good emergency recovery sort of thing. I kind of want the frozen fries for Bowser. So that's seven items, and that just gets me one more item, so... I'd like to be... Hmm... thing is more often than not I'm not at low I'm not below five at five HP or lower so ultra shroom cake is usually better than jelly ultra because I can use it more freely so one more ultra shroom cake I think ultra shroom cake So let's one more ultra shroom cake, and I think that's it. Booster shroom, shield shroom. Don't need another Yoshi biscuit. Okay, these are all my Bowser items plus a dark cake. Oh, do I not have enough dark cakes? I need a third dark cake. Okay, I need to get a third dark cake. Was a dark cake with a leaf? I don't remember. How, what happened to my other dark cake? I thought I had a third dark cake. Huh. Don't know what happened to it. Okay, we need to check the uh, the recipe guide. Right, and I also need to like get some food because I'm like dying of starvation over here. So we need one more dark cake. Yeah, it is the dark leaf. Might not have the proper uh, equipment for farming, but whatever.
might as well even have on Truth, Recoil, Flame, and then all the usual stuff. Alright, pit, yeah, Pitying Dark Shields, yeah, that's about what I expected. Um, I don't know if I have the right badges for farming. I forget what badges I needed for farming this guy, these guys. I think it was just like all the plus attack badges. Oh right, it, it was Head Start, because I want to one-shot them. Or whatever it was. I needed like, Power Plus and then Head Start. And I don't remember what else I needed, so... I'm just gonna claim this. I don't think the badges were that important. Yeah. Really just recoil throw with a power plus and head start. Just the Dark Leaf. Get me out of here. I need one more Ultra Shroom and then two Cake Mixes. I'm assuming I can get through Tubba Blubba without healing. I kind of have to at this point. Because, like, without his attack buffs, Tubba Blubba didn't do that much damage, I think. Right? Like, he attacks multiple times, but with good blocking and always rejuvenating, I think I'm good. This rejuvenate's pretty powerful. Cake mix plus dark leaf. Cake mix plus ultra shroom. Now, now, the eight items I have are my Bowser fighting items. Um, what did I need for Totten Koopa? I want to do Totten Koopa first, so that... Okay, it was just a dark cake and an ultra shrimp cake, so... I'm gonna go in with my current items. And I'm gonna try... And do Totten Koopa. I mean, Totten Koopa will be free. Yeah. So I'm gonna do Totten Koopa. And then I'm going to um, follow up once I get my stats set to pro the proper stats at the end of Totten Koopa. Then I'm gonna go into uh, whatever his name is. Okay, pull everything. Okay. I'm gonna get some food first though, BRB.
I am back with a lunch. <clears throat> also, my badges are wrong. No power plus, no head start. I need truth stomp. Flame smash. And both of these defend pluses. What else am I missing? Pity flower. It still makes me annoyed that people probably do this in seconds because they use, like, with no effort because people use auto dodge. Auto dodge is the stupidest thing. I hate auto dodge. Anyway, dark cake hustle. I don't have to block at anything in this fight. I don't remember why I don't block anything, but my notes say don't block anything. Something about FP ma min max, you know, I don't remember. Also right, because he like cuts my HP in half, and there's no point in blocking. And the hustles are... Sp what am I doing? Okay, well, we need to at least do that properly. I mean, that shouldn't matter, but... Oh, that, that took more FP, and FP is actually really tight in this one. Yeah, I was not paying attention. There's also super guards, but imagine ever hitting a super guard. Okay, recoil X2, skydive. I don't have to block, which means I don't block the hammer recoil either. Looks a bit sketchy, but... Right, yeah, and the hustle blocks that, and Buzzatris is immune. So, uh, then, recoil, ultra cake, shell shot. Hope I don't have to use shell, uh, shell shot first. Shroom cake. Shell shot. Oh, this should actually be it. I stick with para carry for the rest of the fight, apparently. You lower my HP here, right? Oh, the defense power. Then it's recoil and skydive until he dies. Recoil, skydive, jump, skydive. Now you lower my max HP. And this should hit him. Yes. And that's why. If I miss one of these paracarry skydives, I'm not in a good position. Those are hard to hit. Oh, my attack is... Why is my attack power 4 on him? Right, the dark cake. Because he's got one defense, right? But the dark cake gave me one. Yeah. Oh boy, another whack a bump to add to the pile. So I leave that fight at 12 HP and 25 FP, and with that amount of whatever. Okay, so now, into the tub of blub is where we go. Now, this is going to be tricky, because... Hmm. Hmm. 
My first time I just went for dealing damage, but that was before I realized that Rejuvenate is a zero-sum move. Like, it, it has this uh, net zero property to it, which is really nice. So yeah, yeah. I should just... <clears throat> okay. Th this fight completely gonna be reworked. Completely entirely. I think I can just jump slash rejuvenate every turn. Remove his uh, power beam. Power beam on phase transition. <clears throat> or I mean, star beam. Star beam on phase transition. Use refresh to get. I think I can just reduce it to that. This will be slow, but foolproof. Because he's not doing more damage than Rejuvenate is healing. He's just not. Otherwise, I think that gets rid of my items. This is infinitely better than any other strategy. Because this actually works. You can even like switch to someone else for extra damage. Like sushi for the belly flop. Didn't matter, but. Alright, he has the ground attack, so actually, I should always stick with Buzzatrist, because he can attack my partner, actually, I think. <clears throat> I can also use focus to, like, get my stats back. Pretty handed. It's like this is plus ten extra points. Cause I, I do lose two points when he does his uh his double stomp. However, I gain ten points worth back from a refresh. So this is a net gain. This is very much so a net gain. <clears throat> and actually, in that regard, Smooch and Refresh are the same in terms of raw points back. If you think about it. So this fight is actually like free, it looks like, so far. Probably 
probably gonna want more FP back. <clears throat> like, more stats back. At some point. Uh, you need to do nothing, Buzzatrice. It's just... Exploit the zero, uh... Exploit the, uh... Exploit... Exploit the system, I can speak. Yeah, we can just full heal on phase one. Which is kinda nice. As long as we have uh, our stats like are within 12 of each other, then if you do nothing. You're gonna do that to me. I shouldn't have blocked that, but whatever. You're gonna chuck me next turn. Rejuvenate. <clears throat> Refresh. Perfect. That's pretty much as good as we're gonna get. Starbeam away his attack. As now he'll just attack more times, but. Right. <clears throat> He's got that attack, eh? As long as I don't waste raw stat points. I'm gonna need to start blocking. something weird outside. I have to be careful to not, like, lose too many, uh, sats, points from hitting the cap. I didn't do this before. This is completely free. I'm being pinged. It's probably about Jackbox tonight with my friends. Sure is. Hello, person. Uh, this is Paper Mario Dark Star Edition. This is a, a ROM hack slash mod of uh, the original Paper Mario 64. And you, uh, if you if you're interested in playing, you should probably look away now because this is uh, literally like the last thing in the game, and you're gonna get spoiled immensely. I should have healed there. But if you don't care about that, then welcome. Oh, that doesn't- that just shrinks me. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not the end of the world, because I have, uh, refresh. <clears throat> I 
Right now, I'm just uh, routing out some super bosses so, to uh, attempt the uh, the EX boss rush, aka the harder version of normal bosses. Except it's also it's a boss rush, so you have to fight the harder, the, the buffed, like buffed Goomba King, buffed Koopa Bros, buffed Tot and Koopa, buffed Tubba Blubba, etc. All in a row. So uh, they, uh, you need a very specific route on. Well, not really route, but more so script on how exactly the battles are going to go. And or battle plan, because otherwise you're going to get annihilated. We do have that net loss with that attack, but we're still keeping up pretty fine. to stall for a turn before we switch to phase three. Forget what attacks he like what his attack script is in phase three. It's pretty much more of the same. that my blocking has to be really on point here. Unblockable attack, that one. Refresh next turn. So yeah, even in phase three when he attacks the most, it's it's still able to rejuvenate spam. Yeah, this is this is actually trivial, pretty much as long as I get most pretty much all the blocks. He never does so much damage that I can't rejuvenate away it, as long as I get good blocks. So... Okay, so yeah, that, that just completely routes out an entire three items, which means we get to save them for uh, Dark Bowser EX. Which is much better. And I think this puts me in even like a better position than my script put me in uh, for uh, General Guy, because like this keeps me in a very good position for General Guy. <clears throat> Tubba Blubba and General Guy. 
very boring fights here. Very slow grindy fights, but I'll take him. This one's faster than the other one. I think we've proved our point here. I don't, I don't think we need to continue this. But I guess I'll continue. Anyway. Uh, you can get your hands on it in the uh, Discord, which uh, I don't know. Just search for the Paper Mario modding Discord, maybe. And uh, other stuff. Yeah, you need, uh, you need flips, which is just easy to find, you can just Google it, it's a patching program. You need the original copy of, uh, Paper Mario, and you need the, uh, ugh, I missed a lot of blocks there. Yeah, if you just go to the Discord, you should be fine. Because general guy is even more zero zero sum than this, so I do not need a ton of FP. I need a bit of FP at the start. I need like what twenty FP, I think. About twenty-ish for uh, general guy, and then we get into uh, cycle. But I, wait, I also need to have my HP high enough, right? My HP needs to be high enough at the start. I think. I should actually should continue this and double check what HP threshold I need to start general guy because the HP that uh, we have that I have dictates uh, what he summons <clears throat> okay well we should be able to get a refresh in see, don't want to kill him yet here and then just go for the kill it works this sh that's that's enough FP and that should be enough HP gonna have to get rid of that life streams are illegal okay should be one uh, fire guy one med guy Okay, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so this this is fine then. Okay, let's just uh in that case, let's just use this. Heal. I would use the whack bump, but I'd rather just put it in my collection. Uh let's go do a little bit of Dark Bowser then. For practice. Okay, 
Okay, so turn one. Okay, we're in a bind already on turn one because we need to dark cake, but we also have to star beam. So I'm thinking we should just star beam and out of sight turn one because we we absolutely we we need we need time and we just don't have enough time. So we have to. Let me don't get the cloud up. Well, this is this is fun. It sucks burning an out of sight on turn one, but I don't see any other option. So until we get the dark cape, we're kind of in trouble. And we've already we if if we if we had a script we would already be off script because my script would not involve me getting poisoned and that's the problem with this guy. It's impossible to stick this guy to a script because a single missed block and you're off script because of the poison and all the status ailments. Same with Crystal King, although with Crystal King the script is still important. This was attack number three. So he's gonna star rod in this turn. So actually, I should have, I shouldn't have done that actually on that turn. So he star rods on this turn. So I could have cloud nine on that turn and gotten extra damage in, but whatever. Poison's done. We should probably rejuvenate anyway. I don't think I need to practice Dark Bowser that much. As long as I've got the claw defense down pat, we should be good. Right, right, wave. Right. It's this turn that we need to- okay, yeah, so- okay. So I think we just might forego the first round of, um, Cloud nine. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're actually done here. Uh, we're ready to actually start an attempt. I need to go grab the rest of my items. And then uh, I'll cut my stream and then immediately restart it so that the VOD splits nicely. And then we'll uh, actually start. Also, right, I keep forgetting I can do this. I keep- I got the warp stone and I went through hell to get it and I completely forget I have the warp stone. Because it's so useless by the time you get it! <laughs> Check my whack -a bump Okay. Yoshi biscuit, and grab these three Yoshi or Ultra Shroom cakes, and I think. That should be the items. I'm, obviously, I'm, I'll double check the items that I have. Okay. Let's double check the items. Uh, golden shroom cake, golden meal, three dark cakes, two Yoshi biscuits, America golden, four jelly ult- four jelly ultras, is that right? Yes, five ultra shrimp cakes. No, six ultra shrimp cakes and a frozen fries. And the golden shrimp. Okay. 
all my items are correct. It took five hours to get <laughs> to route the last to get the last routing in, but I mean three of that was Huff and Puff, because man, Huff and Puff is quite the difficult fight to route. Uh, what partner do I need at the start of the fight for Goomba King? My route says Lackluster. Although, Goomba King fight's probably not too scary. See, yeah, I forgot about Starbeam. No, I didn't. Okay, anyway. Uh, yes, I'll start stream and restart it. First, I'll rename my title, though remove the routing because we're done the routing now it's actually time to start an attempt of course this will be a uh, save stateless that's the whole point the ex dark dark boss rush attempts no no auto block life shrooms etc or other cheap strategy cheap strategies. <clears throat> other cheap gimmicks. Okay. Let me start my stream. <laughs> 